Now, a lot of centrifugals are not monitoring uh, suction temperature, but in the event that you were, uh, that could be another uh, uh, symptom or, or sign that you could look for to just indicate a surge state. Because essentially what's happening is that refrigerant in the discharge that is superheated is backflowing into the suction elbow and the temperature sensor is reading that discharge temperature hitting the suction elbow and then when the compressor is able to overcome it it then pulls suction gas back out of the evaporator and so that temperature sensor sees that co that cooler suction gas come back through there again and then at the next surge event that discharge gas then hits that that temperature sensor again drops the or raises the temp and we just kind of get back so just like with the uh, the pressure or the current rating right the, how those are constantly in fluctuation that that temperature sensor would be as well so anyway just for some additional symptoms beyond just noise those are some things you could look at to help determine do you have a surge happening now if it's a very minor surging uh, which will still cause like leaving leaving water control issues you'll you'll still have trouble maintaining set point consistently but you may not be going into a major surge event so some of these conditions may be far more minimized you may not have major fluctuations as if you were having a major surge event so uh, it in that circumstance it can be more tricky to pick it up and that's where it just it comes down to experience your training and then just getting an eye for it like it's that is what makes our skill as technicians we develop an eye for these things through repetition experience and education um, and as we develop a a sense and an eye for this and we're applying that experience and that, and that knowledge to the situation to defer that there is a problem.